to physiotherapy. I was given exercises to do because I was only at physiotherapy once a week and I had to do these exercises every day to make sure I progressed and didn't go backwards. The exercises I was asked to complete were really, really simple and I didn't think they were going to work because they were so easy to do, but I had to repeat them two or three times a day um, and I found that I progressed quite at a good pace, but there was no magic wand there. The physiotherapist couldn't cure me in a couple of visits. I really had a, a long course of treatment and had to stick with it, even when I wanted to give up and think that I'm not going to get my neck back to fully functional 100%, but I did persevere and I'm so glad I continued and kept going week in, week out and completed my exercises so that I am 100% cured. The first exercise is really simple, it's just keeping your chin level and turning to your right over your shoulder as far as you can go. You will feel resistance, it will feel uncomfortable. Push it just a little bit further and hold. And very slowly come back to the original position. Now you may, depending on your injury, feel uncomfortable and you might even hear a grisly sound that's all your muscles moving there's nothing wrong with that it's to be expected and you can just repeat this to the left keeping your chin at the same level over your shoulder hold and release back you will find as repeated exercise like this you will be able to look further over your shoulder the second exercise is just dropping your ear down onto your shoulder and you'll find again a resistance. You may even find a strain on the other side of your neck and that's a case of holding and I've found that if you're actually able to relax your shoulders a little, your head can drop just that few centimetres more and then back up to your original position. Again, down onto the left hand side. You feel resistance, you feel it tight on your neck. And back to the upright position. That's two really simple exercises. The third one is just dropping your chin, tucking it into your neck and dropping your head and you'll feel the strain right up the back of your neck, right into your skull. And back. Again, really simple, but effective. Now the fourth exercise takes a bit of mastering to do. It's a case of dropping your shoulders and the muscles at your shoulder blades have to draw down into a V. So if we could describe that for you again, it's push your shoulders down, back, and you feel the strain you want to get your shoulder blades to go down into a V shape and relax and back up again. I do these exercises regularly uh, when the physio explained what I had to do and I asked how often do I have to do them. She says as often as you can in the day and me being a very literal person I did them round about every 20 minutes. That was actually detrimental to the treatment that this physio wanted me to do. Um, so really it was only about three or four times a day spread out over the day. Um, when they ask you to do the exercises they presume that you're not going to complete them, that you're going to rely wholly on your physiotherapist to help you get over your injury when really you'll have to help yourself. Um, so once I got it uh, down to three or four times a day, um, you'll notice I'm sitting in a dining room chair because tempting as it is, this is not the best old thing to be sitting in, as comfy as it is, you really have to be in a straight back chair. Sitting in the office, if you've got a good office chair, there's no reason why you can't do these exercises when you're at your work. Or for me, 
sitting, having my lunch at the dining table or reading the paper. Um, all these times are, are good as long as you've got your back supported in a chair and you're comfortable. Thank you.